Hello, in this demonstration we are going to copy a virtual machine that has been prepared for VMware Player from an external media source to the PC and then we will set up VMware Player to run the virtual machine. So I'm going to go ahead and launch my computer and inside of my computer I've got a E drive which is a portable disk and on my portable disk I've got a folder named Greg don't ask me why and in that folder I've got two virtual machines that are ready to roll and today I want the Windows Server 2008 R2 Enterprise x64 which is 64-bit I also have an x86 disk which is 32-bit I want the 64-bit so I'm gonna go ahead and right click on this folder and choose to copy it I've prepared ahead of time that I want all of my virtual machines on my local disk uh, C in the users folder in BK Lab, which is my user account inside of my documents and then in a folder called virtual machines and you see I've got BK-CL1, BK-Test which are two virtual machines that are there and I'm gonna right click and paste those virtual machines into this particular folder. So we're copying 18.1 gigabytes of data uh, which is going to take some time. So I'll come back to you when the copy is complete. Welcome back. Our file is fully copied and if we look in the virtual machines folder you will now see that we've got the Windows Server 2008 R2 Enterprise X64 virtual machines in here uh, and all the files are present. So the next step is to go ahead and launch VMware Player and I want to add this virtual machine to my VMware Player console. So I'm not going to create a new virtual machine, I'm going to open an existing virtual machine. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and then basically browse in documents to my virtual machines. So I'll double click on virtual machines and I want my server 2008 R2 and there is the Windows Server 2008 R2 Enterprise x64 dot VMX file. That's the file I want to add to load this particular server into my virtual machines. Now I'm going to go ahead and edit my virtual machine settings before I play the virtual machine. I want to make sure that the settings are in alignment with what I want on my computer. So memory is at 1024 MBs. That's also known as one gigabyte. I'd actually like this to have two gigabytes of memory because my computer can support that. So I'm going to increase the arrow to two gigabytes of memory. I'm using 40 GBs of hard disk space and my network adapter is host only which is what I'd like to do so I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK and then I'm gonna play the virtual machine and see if it works so I'm gonna highlight 2008 server and play virtual machine so VMware player is starting to launch and I'm getting a message this virtual machine may have been moved or copied in order to configure certain management and networking features VMware player needs to know if you moved this virtual machine or if you copied it. If you don't know, answer, I copied it. So I'm going to go ahead and say I copied it. Click OK. And now I'm getting an error message uh, with a hardware device that wants to know if I should bring it to the virtual machine and I'm not going to so I'm just going to go ahead and click on OK. And it also wants me to add VMware tools which I'll do later so remind me later. So now it's starting to launch. Windows did not shut down successfully. Uh, this is a standard message. It's a Windows message. I want to start Windows normally, so I'll hit the Enter key on my keyboard. And I am starting my 2008 server normally. So uh, this may take a couple minutes, so I'll come back to you when our server is launched and ready.
Hello, our server is ready to roll. To do control alt delete on the virtual machine, I like to drop the virtual machine window down. So click on virtual machine and click send control alt delete. And that sends control alt delete to the actual virtual virtual machine. So I'm going to go ahead and log in using the supplied credentials and my 2008 virtual machine is starting and you can see here I've got a fully functional 2008 server virtual machine. I have my initial configuration tasks open and you'll see I've got networking which has got an IP address of 10.10.02. I'm going to go ahead and close this window and choose restart later. I've got a server manager that opens next which is a standard 2008 feature and I want to look at roles and I see this particular server also has DHCP, DNS, a web server as well as Active Directory domain services so that's great. And this concludes this video segment which dealt with copying in a virtual machine that already existed and setting it up to run in a VMware player virtual environment. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope you come back and check out more videos brought to you by BrickHouseLabs.com. Thank you.